Hi everyone, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it's Tuesday which means it's time for another quick tip and in this episode I'm going to show you the benefit of working on your painting in Photoshop at both a really zoomed out level and also a really zoomed in level and how you can set up your workspace to simultaneously work from both zoom levels at the same time. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Now, if you've ever seen any of the paintings uh, that I've done before, you'll know that I'm always harping on about um, the success of your painting really isn't in the detail. It's in the broad, basic, overall shapes and the overall composition. And uh, if your piece works small, if it's clear, at a really small level then it'll be much more likely to be a success uh, overall. It's just like when you are in your studio and you're, and you're painting on a canvas or you're drawing in your sketchbook it's always good just to uh, walk away from it turn around and just look at it from a distance because uh, you can see if it's clear and you can see if it's working but when you're working in Photoshop it's really really easy because you've got the zoom tools it's really easy to get lost in all of the details it's really easy to come in too soon and start working on pulling out these details because you're able to just zoom in uh, really really far now you do have the option of the navigator and that's really useful just to have up there and you can zoom in and out using the little slider there but the thing is you can't you can't paint in the navigator window you can't in order to pull out some of the details you really have to zoom in and work on them and then come out again and see it okay there's a bit on his tail that I want to work on so let's zoom into the tail and carry on working and so on and so forth what would be really useful is if you could simultaneously see your picture at both a small level and at a really uh, zoomed in level but be able to paint in both windows at the same time and you can do that so what you need to do is have your uh, window selected, go up to window and go to arrange and click new window for whatever the name of your original window is. So just click new window and what you'll see is you, you'll get a duplicate window. Now I'm just going to click on the thing and drag it off and make that smaller and zoom out have them side by side and what that's going to be able to do is we can have both windows at the same time I can paint all of the details that I want to paint the details of at the high resolution we really zoomed in but also if I if I start painting in this small window I can also do the broad shapes and it's it starts you can see look if I paint down here you can see in the the zoom the zoom window look there you can paint at both windows at the same time so you can what you can look at your piece as a whole but also make adjustments and paint uh, from that zoomed out level as well as working on the details at the same time and this, this, this is really useful uh, and I have to say this is all uh, credit to Bobby Chu for this tip I learned about this a few years ago Bobby Chu is a brilliant digital artist he runs schoolism.com I've done a couple of the courses it's a brilliant brilliant website uh, he's a brilliant artist so I highly recommend checking him out so this is this is a really useful um, tip to work on your piece from two different zoom levels at the same time it's really going to enhance your work and really ensure that you don't get too lost in the details. So that's it for this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did like the episode, make sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And also, I'm really interested to hear what your shortcuts and quick tips are in Photoshop. It's always good to hear uh, of shortcuts to speed up workflows. So let me know. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. Quick Tip Tuesday is every Tuesday. So until next week, I'll see you later.